Hello YouTube fans, it's your boy Brad here with another video. I have been waiting for a while to get me a SB900. Um, I finally got this one off of eBay, it's in like pristine condition. Um, I have been wanting one, I have the 600, the 700, the 800, and now I finally got have a 900. The reason I wanted the SB900 was because I know that uh, Nikon flashes, Nikon speed lights, that the flash heads are pretty quiet uh, compared to some aftermarket brands. This comparison is really between these two, which is the SB900, the YN968N, uh, the two that I'll be comparing. I did bring out the SB800 just as a standard of uh, what I'm used to as far as how loud the flash heads are. Again, if you do like weddings <clears throat> or events that are in quiet environments, you don't want your equipment making a lot of noise and being distracting to the event that's going on, which is the sole reason I wanted the SB900. I ended up purchasing this. You could probably look in the reviews. Uh, my prior videos and I did not necessarily in-depth review on this one but really I had a complaint about this particular flash it is a good flash I have used it at one of my events uh, a couple of events and it works fine like I say uh, as long as you're not worried about the head noise as the flash zooms so here I have it set up and I'm going to show a quick noise comparison test this is not scientific this is just the best I can do with what the things I have and get my camera set up here get it pointed down I have my phone set up with just a plain noise app on it get that pointed and we're going to kind of look at the difference in the noise level on this app you see there's a maximum right here and we're not worried about the average well you can look at the average but the minimum of course is not applicable and as I go through this, I'm going to reset it for each flash head. So the first one, I'll be starting out with the SB900 uh, flash. Get it, wake it up here. Sit it here, right beside, and put them all in the same position as I go through this. I'm going to reset the noise indicator. And then I'm going to be quiet, and you can kind of watch the what the maximum value is and what the average is if need be. So here we go. Let me set that again. So we got an average of 22 and a maximum of 52 on the SB900. Now we're going to go to the YN968. And the thing about the YN968, kind of show you here, is that this clicker makes a little noise. I'm going to be quiet and you kind of see what that brings the uh, decibels to. So you get about 30, 33. So let me reset and we will go through the zoom process here again. Let me get this set up for the right thing. Got to hit this button. Reset this.
So we get about an average of 2526 and you saw the maximum there. It's a different sound, kind of a high pitch if you notice that, a higher pitch sound and uh, it's a little bit louder. I think that's a little bit more annoying. Now we're going to do the SB800 and like I said I'm just throwing this one in this is a much older flash unit and it has felt around it that might play a little part in it because you know uh, cloth materials will dampen noise so I, I'm not going to pull that off but I know my SP 600, 700, 800 are really pretty quiet so here we go I'm going to reset that one more time. Average 2044. So, as we can see there, wow, the SB800 is very, very quiet. Uh, SB900 was actually, I'm not going to say I was disappointed, a little bit louder than I thought it would be. A little bit more noise than I thought it was going to be compared to the YN968. Uh, all of them are good flashes. So, I hadn't had a chance to use this one in any at an event yet, but hopefully soon uh, I have an event coming up at the end of this month. And the next test I'm going to do is a I'm going to do a, a light output test. I'm going to set it up with my light meter, and we're going to test these two at probably just three power levels: full power, half power, and maybe an eighth or something like that. And I get that set up in a moment. Okay, you two. Okay, I'm set up now for the uh, flash output test. I have my Sekonic, um light meter set up. I'm not going to show you the flashes that I have. I have both of them on light stands. We're exactly eight feet away, pointed directly at the uh, light meter. Um, both of them set to their maximum zoom. Uh, the uh, YN968 uh, is 105. The SB900 is 135 at its maximum zoom. And we're going to start at full power. Once I wake my light meter back up, get it back into uh, meter mode here. See, the thing should be flashing. And we're flashing. Okay. Again, we're doing a one-to-one. -one. This is full power. And the first one that I'm going to pop will be the YN968. And here we go. Let me check something real quick. I'm going to set that at 100. Alright, here we go again. This is the YN968. Ah. Press the button again. Y'all forgive me. No, I'm not going to edit this out. <laughs> Alright, here we go. YN968 again. We got F16. I'll wait here a second as it recycles and I'm going to go again. 16. Now I'm going to go over to the SB900. 
zoomed all the way out at 135 and here we go and we get the same thing F16 one more time F16 now I'm going to start with the SB900 I'm going to take it down to half power and here goes the SB900 at half power Wait to recharge it so, and here we go again at half power F11 take the 968 down to half power and here we go Here we go again on the 968. Now I'm going to take the 968 down to a quarter power. Here we go. Here's the 968 at a quarter power. We're at F8. One more time. back to the 968 I'm sorry the uh, SB800 wake it back up here take it down to a quarter power Oops. here we go and here we go at a quarter power both of them here's the second F8 and both of them are the same. I'm going to do one more quick thing here since I got all of this set up I'll try to do it quickly. I'm going to do a full power burst. I'm going to do it manually because I'm not going to set up triggers. I'm not about to set up triggers. I'm not going to set up triggers. If I can get them over here. Let me flip this over so I can see. stands okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go full power on both and look at the recycle time again no I'm not going to set up triggers so I just try to press both buttons at the same time let me get this one to full power it's the YN 968 full power and wake this one back up the SB900, get it to full power, back right there. And now we have, hopefully, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Hopefully you can see both of the red lights. And one, two, three. And I think I actually hit this one first. I'm going to try it again. One, two, three. And we'll do it one more time. I'm going to switch sides so maybe I can. YN968 seems to be a little bit quicker on the recycle time. Uh, again, it wasn't on trigger, so forgive me on that. But they're, they're pretty close. But I think it is just a tad bit faster. So that's my uh, little take on these two. I just kind of wanted to show them since I have been wanting a SB900 and I finally got an SB900. I am happy with the purchase. The SB900 I bought off of eBay. It was used. I paid about $175 for it I think. Uh, the YN968 I think cost me right around oh don't hold me to this uh, 120 between 120 and 130 
So there you go, guys. Uh, leave some comments. Again, not totally scientific, but I just kind of wanted to show the two different flash units. Uh, can't go wrong. There's one thing that I do want to show you is uh, the uh, flash head. This would be the last thing. Uh, the YN968, and this is no biggie, uh, has a... Let me flip this over so I can see myself. So the, the flash head will go back 90 degrees all the way on the YN968. The SB900 only goes straight up, of course. You know, you flip it around um, to, to get that angle if you need that type of an angle to, you know, bounce light behind you. Uh, the thing I, I, I do like about aftermarket flashes, and this seemed to be more <laughs> prevalent with that, uh, I like it that you can just turn it. When, you, when, you, when you're doing things, you don't have to reach and grab a, a button to push. And I understand maybe why... You know, a lot of them have this lock that that way it doesn't fall out of position. But I've never had a problem with it. Uh, I'm I usually I am usually shooting events, and so I'm, I'm I'm shooting very quickly. And when I go from uh, landscape to portrait mode, I take the flash and I have to turn it this way. And I like just being able to grab it and turn it, then to fight with the and 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 that's no biggie. I just wanted to kind of show that. Uh, a difference in the two flash and with the way that you unlock the head. All right, guys. Hey, y'all have a great YouTube and blessed day. Bye.